Hi, and welcome to the first of, let's say, five videos about my newest project, a homemade desktop CNC milling machine, which I am building from scratch. This video series will explain how I have built my machine and cover many details about building a machine like that. Now, YouTube is full of videos where people present their CNC machines and there's even several video series about this topic. So you might ask, why am I doing that? Well, I must say, I did not find a video or a video series that explains all the details of these machines and most videos focus only on the mechanics. Things like the electronics and also how to get from a drawing to a milled object is usually not explained. When I decided to build my milling machine, I watched many of these videos to get impressions about different problems and how they were solved by others. Many of my questions were not answered by these videos and so I decided to create my own video series about my machine. My videos will cover many details. I will talk about the woodwork, about the mechanics, specific problems that I ran into, about drawings and schemes, the electronics and the programming. Let's start. I started designing my machine first in OpenOffice Drawer and then later in FreeCAD. Some of the design details of my machine were clear in a very early stage of development. I wanted a typical 3-axis machine with a work size of 15 by 15 cm. I wanted a mill with a mostly stationary tool and a bed that can move in X and Y directions. I wanted to use my Proxon as a milling tool, at least at the beginning, because I had it lying around. And I wanted to use an Arduino as the controlling brain, and three of the so-called big easy driver boards to drive my stepper motors. I've read that there's an Arduino library called GRBL, which can process G-code, the code used for controlling any kind of CNC machine. This library is widely used, and I hope that I can easily fit it to my needs. And just because I had laying them around, I wanted to use a keypad as a manual input and the LCD display as a live feedback about what my machine is doing. At this point I didn't know how problematic this will be at the end, but after quite some work I finally managed and you can see in another clip how I did that. This is a free cut drawing of my machine. The machine has a footprint of circa 40 by 40 centimeters and it is more or less 35 centimeters high depending on the height of my Proxon milling tool. The base plate is made of 40 millimeter dense fiberboard and all or well most other parts are plastic coated plywood. I selected this type of wood mostly because I got it for cheap from the scrap wood container of my local hardware store. The grey rods are aluminium square pipes with 25mm diameter. They are used for holding and stabilizing the bridge and also for some parts attached to the bridge. The machine bed is 17cm wide and can be moved by 16.5cm in X and Y direction. I created a design with a sandwiched construction of moving beds, one layer for each direction. Each bed lies on two ball bearing drawer slider rails. The second level is, of course, vertical to the first layer to make the movement in all directions possible. The drawer rails are here and here for the X direction and they are here and here for the Y direction. I'm using the drawer sliders mostly because they are cheap and they take only very little space. Using them is actually tricky, I will come back to that in another clip. Four drawer rails are used for the tool holder in the Z direction, because the stability of this part is crucial for the precision of my machine. Three NEMA 17 stepper motors drive my machine. One for the Z direction, this one and this one for the X and Y direction. These motors have a 5mm axle and can take around 1.7 amps, so they are relatively strong. Threaded M8 rod with 8mm diameter drive the movement of the beds and the tool. I have used stainless steel rods for this project because they are a little harder from the material than normal steel. And unlike the non-stainless rods, they don't have a zinc coating, so they are a little bit more precise. The electronics of my machine will at the end be hidden in this box here. I will also build another box which is connected by a cable to this one, which will contain the keypad and the LCD. When you see this clip on YouTube, 
This means that I am pretty far ahead with the project already. My mill is not ready yet, but I am sure that my plan works and that this series will be completed within a half year or so. I hope that this series will be useful for someone. Feel free to comment if you have questions or when I'm saying or doing something wrong. I'm open to any comments and curious what you guys think.